G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this episode. Now, I've been doing quite a bit of work around automating content processing uh, recently using SharePoint Syntax. Um, and I'm finding that SharePoint Syntax is really uh, a powerful platform and something that uh, I wanted to share with everybody just to show what we can start to think about automating in terms of document generation and, co and other types of content processing. Now, I will start out by saying that SharePoint Syntax uh, is an additional licensing or there are additional licensing requirements around SharePoint Syntax. So you can see on the screen here if I switch over to the, the licensing page from Microsoft 365, this is in Australian dollars. You can see per user, it is $6.90 per user per month at the time of this recording. So there is that, um, that commercial aspect of it, uh, but the benefits that you can get from it, I think are going to really enhance the way that you create and generate content and also process that type of stuff too. Now, the, the, what we're gonna take a look at today is part of SharePoint Syntax that's called Content Assembly. And what we can do with Content Assembly is dynamically generate documents. So we can have a template, we can have, a, let's say, and what we're gonna do here is have a SharePoint list uh, with some uh, metadata on that list and combine that with a new, uh, tr or a new action in Power Automate when we add a new item to a list, we can then generate dynamically a document and put that in a document library ready to be approved or sent out or, or whatever the next step in that process is. So let's take a look at how we go about uh, doing implementing that. We'll, we'll set the scene first, we'll set them groundwork, we'll set the, the, the back underlying infrastructure up first, and then we'll jump into actually creating what we're going to do. So. I've created a Microsoft team here uh, and it's called Human Resources. I've got two channels, general and contractors. Now on the contractors channel uh, here, you can see that I've got a Microsoft list that I've added as a tab. All right, so this is going to hold all of our contractors. Now when we add an item or a contractor to this list, we're going to automatically generate a document. So it could be a contract, it could be an NDA, it could be anything like that. Um, so that when a new contractor is added, a, a document is going to be generated with all of this metadata that you can see uh, that's associated to this list. All right, that document is going to be created and popped in the files tab of this Microsoft team so that we are, we've got everything in, the, in a single location. Now, the list is pretty simple, right? It's a, I created this from a blank list. I've just added email, company, phone, position, ABN, uh, internal manager. That's for just for our internal purposes. Now, the document that we're going to create here, let me just fire up Word and let's open up that document that I've got. And all it is, is a generic document here. Uh, it's got just got some lorem ipsum here, but these are the placeholder sections here that we're going to substitute for all of those. So it's like a, a, a mail merge. Uh, if you're familiar with the old style mail mergers, we can actually do that uh, in a more in a better way using lists, Power Automate, and now also SharePoint Syntax uh, and also Word. So this is the, the templated document that we're going to use. So I'm just gonna close this down now. So the first thing we're going to do is go to this library uh, called, and let's open it up, let's open up the SharePoint site. So you can see here, we've got our document library. All right, now with SharePoint Syntax, if we're licensed, what we can do is create what's called a modern template. So let's go and create a modern template. We're going to use that Word document as, as our base template. So here, I'm just gonna browse this device uh, and I'm going to upload uh, that this document um, that we've just got, which is the generic contractor contract. Um, and we're going to use that as the basis for our template. All right, so it's gonna uh, now load this document uh, into this uh, into the, in the content assembly editor here. And we're going to then put in some placeholder um, text for uh, the insertion of the dynamic data. So we'll just wait for that to load. Um, and then we'll jump into Power Automate um, so that we can connect up um, and automate that process. 
So we can see here, this has now been loaded into the editor, and now we're gonna go about putting in some placeholders. So in the name section here, now we need to have um, some text in here. So place name here. Um, I'm just gonna copy this text here uh, and just paste all of this into these sections so that we can use that as our as our placeholder it can be any any placeholder text that you want um, and then we can paste that like so now what we need to do here is we need to select this uh, block of text we need to give this a name so the placeholder or the field name so let's just call this contractor name and we're going to select a single line of text. We're going to add that. Now we're gonna go ahead and do exactly the same thing for every other placeholder here. So let's go uh, email address like so. We'll just use that as a single uh, line of text as well. Let's go address and we'll continue down the document here. Next up is phone. So we'll name this one phone. Again, we'll just use a single line of text, but you can see you could use numbers if you wanted to as well. Um, and there's different t options to the, um, the type of content that we can use. So we'll just put company name. So the type of info, you can see we've got single line, multi-line, number, date and time, email, or hyperlink. Okay, so we'll just use company, uh, let's just use single line of text here. Um, position, again, we'll just use single line of text. And let's just go position title and we'll go single line of text. We'll add that and we've got one more to do, which is the ABN. And let's go ABN number and we'll go single line of text again and we're good to go. The rest of the document is just templated text for us, right? So we can make sure that we've got the right, uh, the right stuff there. All we're doing is inserting um, these uh, names here. So let's go ahead and publish that. So we're gonna publish it with this templated name. Uh, let's just call it generic um, contractor contract. It's gonna publish this template to the document library for us to then use. So that's now done. So if we now go to the new button of this document library, we can see that we've got generic contractor contract. All right, now if I open this up, it's gonna open up in, into this, um, this form here. So I can go to the library and do that and ma manually enter all of this ourselves, and then it's going to insert it into the document. Now, what would be better is if we can just automate that process. So just enter co new contractors into a list um, with all the same fields and then just automatically generate that, that document and it's gonna place it in the files tab of this Microsoft team, okay? So let's go ahead now and jump into Power Automate. We're going to create a new flow and it's going to be an automated cloud flow and it's gonna be when an item is created. So let's create this off now. And the first thing we need to do is select our site which is uh, the human resources site and it's this URL, okay? And I'm just gonna jump back into Power Automate because I'm going to manually or enter this custom value like so. It's going to automatically pick up our contractor list, uh, list like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, now this is in preview at the moment, is there's a, a new, action here called generate document using SharePoint syntax. And you can see it's in preview. Now there are some limitations here uh, as it's still in preview, but it, it's going to give us enough um, uh, enough value here to be able to do what we wanna do. So again, we need to enter in our site address. So it's going to be the same site. So I'm just gonna enter in a custom value. I'm going to paste this in here. Now the document library, we want to choose just the standard document library, but here's the trick here to get it into that Teams channel is we need to select a path. All right, so if we can select a folder, so we go to shared documents and we go to contractors because that's where we want to place this file in, right? Now, the document template, it's going to it's going to automatically dynamically get our uh, modern template that we've got uh, associated to that document library. And then we can use a file name. So here, I'm going to dynamically do this. So I'm going to select the title 
and I'm going to go uh, contract letter like so and that's going to be the file name now the phone number again we're going to uh, dynamically set all these so address and we'll just go through um, and look at all these now I think I had an address here somewhere maybe I didn't let's just um, pop the company in there we'll pop the company again in this one here the contractor name we're going to use as the title email address we've got a field for email uh, position title uh, we had let me just scroll down here we've got a field for position and ABN we do have ABN now what we might do with the address here is let me just scroll all the way down just to make sure I'm not missing this let me just check this list here because I thought we did have an address I may be wrong so let me just jump back in here and have a look no we don't have an address that's okay so what we might do here is let's just pop this out um, add address but if we had an address field then we, we could pop it in there you get the picture now that's all we need to do all right so we're going to save that and then let's give this a test all right so we're going to we've just uh, agreed with a new contractor we've just started the onboarding process so I'm going to jump into teams here and all I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new item to this list so let's go Daniel Anderson uh, email is like so let's fill this out um, modern work collective one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Position uh, modern workplace consultant. Um, and let's spell that out correctly. ABN. This is our in Australia our Australian business number. And an internal manager. Let's just give. Uh, let's just assign this contractor to Alex for our internal purposes. So we're going to save that off now. All right, so we can see there we've filled out our list item. Now, let's just jump back into Power Automate now and we'll just pop back into the run history and let's just wait for that to now trigger uh, and we'll see what the process is like. So that flow has now been triggered and run and as you can see on the screen has succeeded. So let's jump back into Microsoft Teams now and we'll jump into the files tab of contractors and let's see what we've got. Here we go, there's our document. It's been generated automatically for us. It's got the file name. When I open it up, it uh, has inserted all of that dynamic data out of that list directly into the document like so. And you can see there that we've got a now a dynamically generated um, the contract that we can now continue the, the the process whatever the case may be uh, in this uh, in this process flow so we can see there that combining um, Microsoft lists Microsoft teams SharePoint syntax again there is a licensing requirement around that power automate we can then now dynamically process content generate documents and really streamline that uh, that content creation or that document generation process so I hope that brings you some value uh, thanks for watching and we'll continue to um, look into and release these little snippets of, of value around SharePoint syntax because I think it's really going to bring a lot of organizations value in regards to streamlining and automating this content generation so thanks for watching see you next time